ladies and gentlemen today we'll be looking at throwing knives particularly a technique of a throwing knife that I don't really see very often but then I don't really see throwing knives often either the reason for that might be because it's not very easy to use compared to the other alternatives we have for the infiltrator class I like to use this as a finishing off weapon I also like to use it against targets that are not moving very often or targets such as heavies that don't really have much mobility I also like to use it against guy that is just sitting far away and doing absolutely nothing knife is also not a bad choice against heavy on flag it's not ideal either it's not ideal at all actually but it's just another tool that you have in your inventory to be as annoying as possible and in my opinion the whole point of the infiltrator class is to be as annoying as possible because they are heavy on flag that means that they're gonna stay on flag and because you have six knives per clip you can actually just spam the knives in their general direction and eventually get a kill one two three three out of three knife also goes really well with the spin fuser stealth spin fuser that is I like to call these uh, combo shots basically what you do is you shoot the spin fuser dicks right there and then you switch to throwing knives you shoot the throwing knives and you get an instant ideally speaking you want the throwing knife and the dicks to hit the target at the same time but most of the time that's not really going to happen what is going to happen is that the throwing knife is going to hit the target first and then immediately afterward in a very small span of time the dicks is going to hit the target as well for this to happen you want to make sure that you're not very close to the target because if you are, the Dix is going to hit the target first. And that is probably going to bounce your target off. And you are probably going to miss the throwing knife. If you are far away from the target, your throwing knife is going to hit. But then there is going to be a huge gap until the Dix hits the target. If you are too far away, neither of them is going to hit the target. Now, I don't want you to think that this is a complex mechanics. This is actually very easy. This is very easy to replicate. All it takes is a couple of tries. And if you haven't tried this out, I really hope that you guys try it out. Anyway guys, this is all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you think about the weapon. Do you actually use the throwing knife? Do you actually like it? Let me know what you think. And I hope to see you next time.